Hey guys, the honest truth about booster box investing is it's really difficult to move your boxes at a good price. A lot of people want to take their fees or scam you or open the box and send it back to you. I sold a bunch of booster boxes on Amazon. I have a Amazon account and we sell a lot of Nandroids, Figmas, anime figures when I still was running my business. This was... Probably two years ago, we were really doing Amazon. There's very little margins. We did probably $600,000, $700,000 in sales. 80% of that were anime-related, anime figures, Weiss cards, uh, Weiss trial decks was a big seller with those. Um, Meister sets also all sold out. I, said I, kept, I kept some of them. Uh, but I should have gotten more of them because they was the only thing that went on price. But we did attempt to sell Magic the Gathering because why not, right? I mean, we already have an account. We already were paying our mother effing. So in Amazon, you have like an Amazon rep to help you with things. We're already paying the monthly $50 or $150 a month fee. So we just like say, okay, just, we'll, we'll, we'll run. The amount of people who scam you on Amazon is quite big so what they will do is really obvious you see this on reddit all the time that's why i you know from my point of view it's very cautious is you sell a box amazon they charge you 20 percent, and then they charge you a a fee for having a storage facility like for, for putting your stuff in storage and that fee can change every month every i sorry every quarter it's a different fee so during around christmas time it's much, much higher, three, four times, five times higher than it is like right now where there's lower sales, right? There's less people selling. And then uh, you would get returns and the returns not even worth it. Many times the Amazon seller, including myself, would just say, no, I, I instead, you know, you open the box. Um, there's very little I can do. Just keep the box. I At least I'm not going to pay money for me to get a box of common ship back to my storage, which then has to be shipped back to me, or I keep in my storage and I pay that storage. The reason many vendors, unless I know, unless I want to make it be a pain in your ass to ship it back to me, because I know that you've done this many times before, the, the reason many vendors will just allow you to keep the product from the Amazon standpoint, from my standpoint, is that it costs a lot of money to store. So not only do I have to pay the shipping back, I have to store it until I figure out what to do with it. And that is very, the storage in Amazon is very, very expensive for a car. A car. I mean, again, I don't know how many Amazon sale, sellers there are right now, but uh, it's not easy and it's never, I mean, again, you're competing directly against Wizard of the Mother Effing Coast for Magic the Gathering. So that makes it different than Weiss. Weiss is never, I'm still not on the Amazon. So I don't have to compete against them directly. And even the anime figures, a lot of those figures companies, Nandroids, Figmas, so on, Max Factory, they're not on Amazon, right? They're Japanese companies that do most of their figure making in China. And I get them and then I just ship. So... Back to, I tried to do Sideshow, but they just, Amazon cannot ship something that big. I realized it's got to be like something average size. It is very difficult to sell boxes, guys. And you're going to get mother effing murdered on the prices, you will. And I think one of the main things I learned trying to sell magic boxes is you have to do it in person. You got to do it in person. I mean, I, I know Alpha Investment sells a shit ton but his model is quite different because it's the Amazon model, right? So he's no different than Amazon, right? He, Amazon's just a cheaper version of him. So that's why he hates Amazon so very much because he basically took his model and made it better for the consumer because it's just cheaper. I mean, who doesn't want cheaper stuff, right? But that model only really works uh, when you're the cheapest price or you, you have, you're giving a good price. Once you lose the pricing battle, you know, no one clicks on more. No one clicks on the next guy on Amazon, right? And the same with TCG Player. That's why I think a lot of times an alpha investment is trying to pump you up on these cards. It's a little deceptive because in 
in all reality, no one gets TCG mids, not even t the guy. No one buys TCG mids. They buy TCG lows, and then you pay a discount from fees and so on, and then you're hoping that dude's not going to scam you. There are a lot of people who open boxes and then just send them back. If you disagree with me, just look at your Walmart aisle, right? Look at your Walmart, especially if it's Walmart or Amazon or something like that, where they don't feel like... And, and Amazon's all just independent sellers like me. A lot of these sellers, not Magic the Gathering, but like Nandroids, we're just like independent sellers who have a distributor in Japan. And so when you send back like a damaged Nandroid or you steal the face faceplate and send it back to us, there's very little we can do. Amazon will always side on the buyer, even if they're wrong. Um, in the eBay, I don't even sell on eBay no more because it's, it's so bad on eBay. You know, there was that Black Lotus thing. I, I just remember seeing that video about the Black Lotus thing. And I can tell you why I don't talk to Daniel Chang anymore. A lot of people, sometimes they ask me that question. I met Daniel. He's a nice guy in person, but I can't really understand why he made that video of that Nazi dude. He's a mother effing Nazi stealing magic cards to raise money to support Nazism. Like, <laughs> what else do I need to say? I mean, it's like, eh, even, I mean, at some point in time, you have to have ethics, right? I've had many clients uh, come to me. I even another client, a watch. He wanted like to do like a patent on watch or something. He had money. I could have took his money and said, you know what, God, good, good for it, good for you, right? He had a bad reputation in the watch community, and I just was like, you know what, my reputation is good in this community. I do not want to spoil it, so I'm not going to take you as a client because I understand the reason you want to give me this project is you believe that giving me this project means I can't speak bad about you which I already did, um, continue to speak bad, badly about you because you're my client, right? I would not, not want to do that. But when a client is acting, when an individual who's not my client is acting really, really weird and, and doing very bad things, um, it's not good. It is not good and... You, you got to draw that line somewhere, right, in life. So anyway, selling is just, I mean, if you've never sell a box, just try it one time. Just try it one time. You're not going to be able to get on Amazon one time because it costs like $150 plus more money. It costs a lot of money to even get on Amazon just to get like Amazon approved. And then you have to do good volume or otherwise they won't promote you or you won't be the first thing. And then you have to give good prices and then you get, get feed to death, right? Uh, I remember when Amazon's fee was like $35, 35%, 30% at one time. I was like, no, we're not going to make any money on this. I will say this. It is an absolute nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare having boxes today. It's not going to be as easy as you think. It's very easy to buy boxes, right? They come in these things and you just put it in a closet. Uh, it is not easy to sell boxes. Selling boxes, you know, I, I'm i a lawyer. I'm a patent lawyer. I've dealt with a lot of complicated patents before. I have never seen something as difficult as selling as many of these different types of boxes and so on. The only way to do it is a physical game store. Maybe somebody comes in, they have won a lottery or something, or they got a good night at poker next door, and they want to spend some money. That's the only way you're ever going to sell these older boxes because they don't have any value. The expected value in these older boxes are 1% of what you pay for in the sealed box. As soon as the seal comes off, you're down 99% or more.